Hey everyone, um, I am actually heading to FTU right now. You'll never guess what happened. I bent the crap out of my Mirage Drive. And so now I need to try to see if I can fix it. Um, what happened was uh, I must have hit an oyster or something, but a friend of mine, Julian, said that it was easy to fix. So I was trying to bend bend it back to uh, with using a vise and I actually broke the thread on the rod so now I'm gonna go see if uh, FTU has what I need to get it fixed all right so basically um, I'm gonna try to create a video to see if if it is an easy fix or how hard it's gonna be to do this to do this repair but uh, I need it uh, because I'm gonna be fishing tomorrow. Otherwise, um, I could wait till the weekend. I did call FTU and uh, they did say that they have the rods. I just don't know how much they cost, but uh, whatever the cost is, I really need these rods for tomorrow so that uh, I can go fishing again. You. Hopefully we can get this thing fixed. See what happens. All right, so I just got back from uh, FTU, and let me tell you that this rod right here was twenty-five dollars, just the rod itself. So, uh, man, pretty pricey for a rod. So if you can find them cheaper, because I think I saw them somewhere else for like 18 bucks or 20 bucks for like two of these rods, because uh, they're supposed to come in a pair. But anyways, um, I really need it because I'm going to be fishing tomorrow. So the rods that um, that I was that I was saying, I saw them at the at the Austin Kayak for $19.99, and you get one, um, just a little cheaper. But uh, I was in desperate need to get a rod, and Austin Kayak was closed, so I had to go to FTU. And uh, well, I paid five bucks more; it didn't really matter. I I really needed it. So my friend Julian was the one that told me that uh he had his his is bent this one right here is kind of bent but not not as bad as as this one here so if you see i don't know if you can see but uh right there is it was bent there so i tried to straighten it out with the vise and uh and i actually uh broke this part of the part of the rod and so here's the one i just i just bought um it didn't take very long it took maybe five minutes to to remove it and all i all, all i was using was a, a crescent wrench and i'll show you in a second where this goes but anyway the rod goes back in here okay goes in here the rod goes in here and and then this one holds it together it has this key this key ring or just a regular ring that holds it together this will go back in here this way and as you can see see if you can see this right here this ring here all it all, all this is doing is uh is keeping it from from falling out so if i can't find this ring what i'm going to use is a cotter pin so this is a crescent wrench that i was using and let me see if i can get a better angle and show you what i'm actually doing this rod we have to install it the way i took it off is i once i took the, once i took this pin off which is this one here i was able to to undo the rod bring it out and i got a new one so uh, i don't know if you can see but it's very easy to take off it's not it's not hard at all you could probably do this uh 
on the launch if it ever breaks on you or something as long as you keep a crescent wrench um, you should be able to uh, to do it uh, and maybe some needle nose pliers uh, and maybe keep a, a spare of these rods but right now I'm going to uh, run out to the hardware store and see if I can find a ring or a cotter pin that goes here like I told you a little bit a minute ago so let me run out I like this hardware store because uh, it's just right down the block from where I live but it's also a mom and pops um, hardware store and um, I know the I know the uh, owners from here uh, but they usually have everything they they I, I'll, I'll be able to find something to put on that pin to, to keep it from uh, slipping out kinds of uh, they have this uh, cotter pan that I'm going to be using made out of aluminum grade and uh, it's going to hold this pin from slipping out and I'll show you in a minute how I'm going to do this but um, all right so let's go ahead and screw this back in there Put this rod back inside. I'm gonna use my crescent wrench. There you go, it's nice, tight. Right there, just a hand tight is all I'm doing. That's it, that should be okay. I'm gonna slip this back inside. There's a fin. And I'm gonna put this pin back in there to keep it from to keep it from falling from coming off and there it is my friend that was pretty easy all right so I'm gonna take my uh, needle nose and open this up a little bit just just a little And I'm going to slide this pin through there. Hope you can see there. Hopefully. See, I went through right there. Let me put my camera right there. Just trying to do this with one hand. See if I can get it done. Okay, so uh, that's it, man. It took, uh, I don't think it took more than 10 minutes. It took me a few minutes to take it off and put it back on. Um, I think that for me, the hardest part was finding the rod. And uh, as you can see, that pin, all it serves its purpose is so that the uh, pin didn't fall off. I put a cotter pin on there. I uh, hope this helps somebody. I hope it helps uh, one of you kayak junkies. Uh, easy fix, it's not, not hard at all. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the water.